So I'm having to record this video for the second time because completing the square is one of them things that you absolutely hate and once you've done it and you've done it when you needed to in the exam you'll probably never ever do it again in your life and um, you'd never solve a quadratic equation with it because it's a bit pointless the only thing it's slightly useful is circles but you won't have probably won't have to use that until A2 anyway but <clears throat> it's just an annoying thing that you need to know when it asks you to use completing the square but otherwise just ignore it completely because it's a bit rubbish. So if we have a quadratic equation like this, we want to put it into a form where we've just got x plus a constant all squared add something else equals zero because um, apparently that can be nicer in some cases. So what we do is we half the coefficient of the b and we add it to x and we square it all. And when you multiply um, this thing out, what you'll get is x squared plus b over 2x plus b over 2x plus b over 2 all squared. And you have this c at the end, which is the coefficient you're going to add on at the end anyway, but you're going to have, when you multiply this out, an extra factor of b over 2 all squared. So to account for that, you want to then subtract it. So you want to subtract it like so, and then you have the exact same thing you had on the other side. If you're um, not convinced, then just write a quadratic equation out that's in a form like that, without a coefficient in front of the x squared, write it out and just try um, writing, the, writing this thing and seeing what you get out. And you'll notice it's exactly the same as this side, but with a b over 2 um, squared added on. So what we want to do is to complete the square is to subtract it. So if you don't like the derivation and you don't think you'll um, ever use it or need it, then just try and remember this equation. So you do x plus b over 2 all squared plus c minus b squared over 4. And if you just plug the numbers of your quadratic equation into this, then that will get you the equation completed the squared. So if we take a quick example, because it might look a little bit simpler without b's and c's everywhere, and just use numbers instead. So <clears throat> we half the b, so the minus 14, and stick it in brackets with x, and then we subtract what this thing here is squared. So we subtract um, minus 7 squared, minus 7 squared is 49, so we subtract 49. And then we minus 5 from it all as well, because we need this term still in then that equals zero. And that gives us the value of the equivalent value of this equation, but having completed the square is this thing. And that's all there is to it. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated if you've got an a out the front, so a coefficient of the x squared. And then you want to take a factor of that a out first, divide everything through by a, and it's a lot simpler. This can be used to solve um, quadratic equations because if you've got it um, in this form, then you can make x minus 7 squared equal to 54. You can do the square root of 54, which gets a plus or a minus, and then you've just got x minus 7 equals plus or minus the square root of 54, and then doing the plus and the minus gets you the two factors that will be um, that will be true for x when this equals zero. The other thing it's used for, I mentioned before, is um, circles. So if you've got um, a circle in a more complicated form, then you can use completing the square to simplify it down into the form that's um, most familiar, x plus a all squared plus y plus b all squared equals r squared. Um, that's not covered in this video. Hopefully I'll be doing another video on circles soon, and I'll go through that in more detail then. But this is just the basic method for completing the square that you need to know. So if you've got any questions on that, then um, just post it in the comments. And if there's something that I haven't covered that you want me to go through, then just send me a message. Um, if I haven't done that bit for the circles yet, then just um, poke me and message me until I do if you don't understand it. I don't know how to do it.